Hey guys, it's Dan here with Coin Cerberus, and today's video is going to be a little different. I was just doing some research on some cryptocurrencies, and a question popped into my head about uh, could you host a website on the blockchain? And it was kind of a question that just kind of just popped in my head, and. Uh, Basically, I just kind of looked around. I kind of found this little article about it, and then I just said, like, uh, host kind, the first ho web host built on the blockchain. It was just kind of some kind of little question that was in the top of my mind. The way that everyone's talking about what can be stored on the blockchain and what kind of network it would be stored on. Uh, so I just, you kind of, kind of caught me researching. My, uh, coins right now basically and that's why I said I might as well just do a video uh, at the moment uh, because it's good to get behind the coin in the first place I'm not talking with just a, an ICO or initial coin offering um, I'm talking about just like behind the tech and seeing what's actually the coins are actually about or the actual technology is a, a, about and that's what I was kind of just researching here and uh, I found it, this article anyway about it, and I kind of just kind of did did I kind of kept digging into it. I won't invest in any any coin until I actually see if it's something that I believe in. Like especially with these I, uh, ICOs, it, a lot of them smell really shady. Uh, so I haven't really invested in any ICO yet. I'm not talking about just investing. Uh, obviously. Anyone that invests in cryptocurrencies wants to make some money. Uh, some people do believe in the tech. I believe in the tech. And plus, it, it reassures my investment knowing that I've put or backed a company that I actually trust. And uh, I'm just kind of doing research right now. And that's what you should get, uh, do before you invest in any coin or any kind of token. So basically, I put the question into Google. Can you host uh, a website on the blockchain? Uh, since that data can be stored on a blockchain, uh, I just it was kind of some question that I should have been asking myself sooner because uh, I have a background in web marketing and web design and I have multiple websites and I'm just surprised that it took me this long to actually ask that question. And surprisingly enough, it hasn't, based on my research, the actual question hasn't been um, asked as much. And I... I'm surprised that I've only kind of found one company that's attempting to do this. Uh, I'm not saying that this go and invest in this coin now. I'm just saying I'm just doing some research. So just like I mentioned, I found this article about host coin, uh, the first coin that's going to be uh, build uh, web hosting based on the blockchain. And uh, this this article is very brief. It gives you just the f a little bit of the bullet points of Hostcoin and the idea of the ICO that's coming with that uh, that coin uh, when it actually came out. It came, I think, the ICO started in October, uh, but the actual um, website is here. Uh, it's Hostcoin, the world's first hosting service built on the blockchain, po powered by Hostcoin, and uh, we'll just take a look at it together and just see what it is. So it says, Hostkind will introduce safer security, uh, military-grade websites that are impenetrable. I don't like that statement. I just don't. Knowing uh, from my uh, experience with websites, uh, I don't like that some site that says that you can get military-grade um, uh, impenetrable uh, security. It's just a bit too good to be true so far. Uh, unstoppable. I do like the idea of hosting on the blockchain. It sounds like it should be a faster uh, a and more space for websites on the blockchain. I like that idea, like the speed of a website. Because like uh, when I started building websites, uh, as time goes on, site becomes heavier on the actual host and your site tends to slow down and Google will hockey you if your site is really slow. So the idea 
of a blockchain based web host sounds good uh, but then again when Bitcoin came out it was they said that Bitcoin would be very fast um, very fast transactions very little fees they said all this kind of stuff about Bitcoin and if I have to be honest a lot of the stuff that I first initially thought about Bitcoin I still think that Bitcoin will stay will be will stay around for a while uh, a long time I don't think Bitcoin's gone but I think it failed in a lot of the the tech that it was behind Bitcoin and and that's why I worry about when I start investing in some of these coins. I really want to read a lot about them. Like it took me a long time before I actually got into cryptocurrencies. Uh, but I just, you, you guys just caught me today like looking at, at uh, this uh, site. And I just said, this is a great way to explore it with, uh, with my new audience in my coin servers journey. And um, we'll continue on with that. It says that domain names will be reinvented. On the blockchain offer new internet real estate I don't know if they can actually do that sure they might create a new like an ending of an uh, a, a block um, a web website uh, um, like the dot com or the dot net uh, they might come up with a new word like a dot coin or something that could be like that or something like that uh, but I don't know if I think websites have been established already. I don't think they can reinvent the uh, websites on the blockchain. Uh, so because then that that would make every website open to uh, open to be purchased. So you can probably get um you can probably get Google dot dot whatever it's supposed to be. Or you could get uh, any other site that's already been built before. And it also says something about the blockchain here. It built uh, SSL security. So that's basically security again. The SSL certificate. And basically SSL is already, is already here. The, the HTTPS is already here. SSL security is already here already. So... I don't understand why they're putting the SSL certificate down there. So, uh, or they're putting security twice here. Um, and I'll get into security in another little bit. I'm not slating Hostcoin or anything like that. I'm just investigating it. And you, you, you guys are basically taking a look at it with me. Uh, I, this could be a great idea if it's implemented. I'm just looking at it right now and and so far I'm not convinced uh, just they have a lot about the the uh, they're like really pushing the ball with the ICO as well uh, instead of kind of really selling the tech they're trying to really push the ICO with this host with their web page um, I really don't like websites that are kind of black in the background as well uh, they never seem to be trustworthy websites. That's just my opinion. Uh, I'm one good trustworthy part about this is that um, one second. I just checked this out a while ago. All of the all of their team actually links to their LinkedIn page, so you can see the CEO's idea there. He's it all goes to his web page. It goes to all the team's page, and that's a really good sign. So at least you can see that someone's behind. Um, the tech someone's actually working on it then again I don't know any of these people uh, or haven't heard anything about these people it's not like they've been working in previous uh, previous coins or have been working with uh, anything else before that uh, there is a couple of people that have jobs in 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 development already uh, so they're they're uh, a new team really and it's uh, that's just from my first initial look at them. Um, their their roadmap is pretty quick now. After be it, I don't believe that they could implement all of this this quick. So they have they haven't even they haven't even finished proving how they're going to do it here. Uh, until that, I don't think they should actually. I think they should kind of have 
a question mark over when it should be actually launched uh, because they haven't proven how they can actually do web hosting on the blockchain yet. Uh, they're, they, it's all, all dandy and gravy to kind of say that, oh, we can launch an ICO, we can develop the technology. They're just basically saying it, testing up the hosting. Um, and by 2019, that's only a year away. It's 2018 now, guys. And that's only a year away uh, on on the the actual launch of their actual hosting. Uh, you can see down a second now, and that's that's basically their roadmap. One second, I was reading their white paper a while ago. One second, I will just go back to the. Let's go back up here. I'll go into the actual. If you guys want to invest in it, I'm not saying to. I'm just going to let you know. I'm not sure about it just yet. I like the idea. I might I might just hold out for the moment, but uh, we'll just take a look at the white paper because um, this is kind of going to give me the the knowledge on whether or not I'm actually going to believe in the tech. Um, it kind of just goes through here. Uh, hosting a blockchain website. Our plan is to build a hosting and domain service on the blockchain. So it's a bit, a bit like GoDaddy of the blockchain. That's what they basically want to be. Um, host kind of feel that the technology should be brought to the hosting industry uh, and other financial sectors. Uh, we, they're looking to and raise, see they keep coming back to raising money rather than, like if you go to like a white paper or a site of Cardano, uh, they really just kind of just really kind of put out the tech there ether all these kind of solid kind of companies they really promote the tech uh, it's kind of just kind of coming back to promoting the ico a lot more um i don't understand how they keep saying like more security what do you mean by more security why is it more secure than ssl um faster server times that is a good idea. That is the one thing that does attract me to the blockchain idea of hosting websites on the blockchain. It would be great if that could be impl implemented. But like, why don't they have a link to how they're going to do it? Um, reinventing domains, that means nothing. That's just an idea. That's nothing so far. There's no proof of that they can actually do that. Uh, instant domain transfer to another hosting on the blockchain. That's actually... A logical kind of idea that's pretty cool I like the idea that peer-to-peer -peer network that's pretty much what most coins and most um, cryptocurrencies uh, can do uh, control of your data um, uh, centralized web protocols and uh, have the single point of failure hence insecure blockchain has a higher level of security um, they said a good comparison of this is like uh, when the DVD replaced the VHS. No, not just yet, guys. I think you're kind of jumping the gun. A uh, blockchain technology is still being. Um, they're still working on blockchain technology, and a lot of the time, uh, some of uh, the tech uh, hasn't proven its worth yet. Uh, just like slow transaction times there's actually fees for most currencies and etc uh, but it can it be possible to put a web host well they say here you can actually store well you can store data what is a website a website is multiple folders hosted on a server well traditionally on a database server and you access them through your browser then you access them through the website and uh, the interface basically of a browser and basically you uh, you can get to see all the files and it's just the way they're laid out then they can be uh, graphically designed and they can be uh, ho uh, positioned properly with uh, CSS and HTML plus JavaScript actually lets you do things on a website so let's say sites that actually sell stuff or are like e-commerce sites they're all kind of built with javascript sites like facebook all them kind of sites that actually do things with the website uh they're created with javascript so you technically you can store it is possible to store data on the blockchain 
but here's where I don't really like the idea. Uh, the, the only thing that you would need to do, the only the trick then becomes teaching a browser on how to access the data. So I'm using Chrome here. Uh, that's weird now. That That's something that uh, that kind of holds me back a little bit. Yeah. Um, the trick is how do you teach a, a browser to, to, to access the data? That's, that's the real kind of thing that worries me. You can create... Uh, you could create a URI scheme that uh, uses transaction ID and then creates a browser that understands the URI, but then that's using a completely different browser then. That's using something else than Google Chrome. A lot of people use Google Chrome or they use Safari or, 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 or Mozilla Firefox because they trust those browsers uh, to a certain extent. Um, maybe there is room for another browser at the moment uh, but can you compete with Google? Can Hostkind compete with Google? Uh, I don't know. That's just <laughs> that's. <laughs> um, or you could try and build a proxy web server that can do it. Uh, this this becomes more and more difficult for the average Joe to, uh, to kind of believe in or to even access if it was on the blockchain. Uh, the only way that I was thinking of that they could do is if they could create a web application on Chrome, like an uh, like a um, like an extension, and then you could read the data off it. That's the only idea I think you could do of it right now. Um, but uh, in theory, I just can't see it working right now. Um, is it possible for to do the same out of blockchain? Yes. This is all kind of speculation. There's no proof that you can do anything like this. They keep mentioning security over and over again. But if you f scroll down through their white paper, they do mention that, like anything else, it could be um, there are risk factors. It could be hacked uh, through DDoS uh, uh, or, or, or any kind of hacking like that. Uh, the, the Ether network was hacked before. Uh, so like nothing is truly perfect. Uh, they, they they do say that it's military grade, uh, uh, military grade security, but I don't believe that. If it was, why did Ether get hacked uh, in the first place? Um, and that's just my concerns. Uh, their white paper here is still in in development so I'm maybe I'm being a little bit harsh but I thought they would kind of outline the the actual way it's going to do more than they kind of promote the ICO um, they, they're, they're going on about the the, the hosting again and the, the ICO um, which doesn't give me a lot of confidence in in the host coin um, so far uh, I wish it would work I just think it would be a great idea what they would really need uh, to to continue working with their their white paper and actually prove uh, what they can actually do. I'm not saying that every coin out there or any kind of uh, site that's uh, cryptocurrency that's out there has proven what they can say that they can do. Bitcoin still struggles to prove anything that it can do. Uh, I still can't go on to most sites and uh, buy p stuff with Bitcoin. Uh, it's I. It's still difficult to transfer Bitcoin to people, um, uh, even in out in and out of this uh, exchanges. Uh, so that's why it makes me worry. But you're just seeing what I'm doing with this analysis. I'm not coming in here to slate Hostcoin. I'm just coming in to check it out if it was something because it was something that would interest me if it did work. But um, I did want to show you something else as well. They kind of they're selling hosting already. And it's just kind of funny how how close this looks to um, GoDaddy. Uh, so they're selling just hosting, regular host, database hosting at the moment. And I do like the idea that they they're, they're they're involved in hosting already. That's that's a little bit more reassuring. Maybe I should have probably led with that. Uh, but then again. Um, do you really want to just re invest in a hosting company? Is this is their ICO just so that they can start up just a regular hosting company? And the whole idea 
is just a good question to ask in and not really about being uh, hosting it on the actual blockchain is it is it just an investment into a hosting company um, I feel like I'm really being very harsh on hostkind maybe it is a legit uh, idea I'm just uh, I'm a bit skeptical um, really take a look at there's so much here I don't want to kind of go on about it forever uh, it's just when they kind of just put, really push the idea of security uh, and the technology uh, they don't kind of really back it up they stick just it's just statements um, and another good resource that I usually go to is reddit and uh, this kind of there was already a kind of a thread going on here and someone down here really kind of had the same kind of worries that I had um, they kind of just talking about one of them said that they're like yeah this this was a point that this guy brought up he said they keep talking about it's going to be hosted on uh, on the blockchain, but it's uh it, there it's going to be worked it's going to be on the Ethereum network, um, but the whiteware doesn't even mention that it's going to be based on Ethereum, which is quite a significant information that's not provided. Uh, in order to work, the website has to include all the databases and be stored on the blockchain. Otherwise, there's no point. Um, so yeah, this guy really kind of has some really good points here and I, I remember just kind of looking at that they said like you uh, he had my worries about storing everything on the blockchain uh, it's not as easy as that for example the entire da database uh, on the blockchain uh, you could change your username let's say transaction would need to be recorded on the blockchain um, I wouldn't jump the gun and say it's a scam or anything like that I'm not saying that I'm I'm just kind of just doing my, uh, I just wish that Hostcoin would back up. I know they said their white paper is still in development, uh, but they're kind of pushing their ICO more than they're pushing their actual tech. If you go to like a site like Cardano, um, what else, what other coins out there that are like Ripple, uh, all those kind of coins like the XRP, uh, I really kind of, I really like the way that they're actually pushing what they're actually, they want to do and so far I haven't seen that from Hostcoin so uh, if you did want to invest in it uh, you could go to this the ICO page is the tokenlot.com and then you just search Hostcoin it's uh, one Hostcoin now is worth uh, 0.00265 ether I'm not in investing uh, hosting in it yet or in hosting in it I'm not investing in it yet I like the idea Maybe if they come at it with another angle um, and kind of give some kind of idea how they're going to do it, maybe make it peer reviewed on if they're like what Cardano did. Um, but so far, it's not really for me. If you want to see how much it is, uh, that uh, 0.265 is roughly about, I'm just going to use current market cap here. Just to see how much that is. I think it's about $2. Uh, because this was launched in October. I think it's about $2. Where is that? So it's so you can only invest. Uh, they don't have a wallet out yet. Sorry, I put it in the wrong, wrong one. They don't have a wallet out yet. Yeah, it's about $2.60. They don't have a wallet out yet. So once their wallet is actually out, it will be transferred your uh, your coins will be transferred to your wallet. You you basically put, uh, you basically purchase the coins and they get, they'll send them to you once the wallet has actually been developed. So it is um, it is an idea at the moment. Um, basically, I just kind of wanted to kind of just you guys to catch me in my. Uh, in my kind of the way that I kind of just look through uh, websites look and see what I'm actually looking for uh, because I don't have like a ton of money to, to invest in all these coins and stuff like that so I have to be very selective in which ones I want but I did like the fact that I kind of questioned the put into question that can you can you even do that with uh, with the blockchain uh, so far it doesn't look like you can uh, until actual uh, host coin actually prove uh, that they can do it 
Um, this was just a quick video. Well, it's probably been longer than a quick video, but at least you guys get to uh, see how I analyze um, analyze any uh, coin before I, I do any kind of investing. I hope this guy's uh, invest uh, in in in. This kind of video kind of helps you guys, and uh, if you've got any questions, leave them down. I'll be doing more kind of investigations of coins, and uh, I'll talk about some of the ones I've actually invested in uh, in the next video. So this is a new channel, guys, so hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification to keep uh, up to date with uh, my ideas, and uh, I hope you guys like the video. Take care.